Okay, guys, so one of the things I want to talk about today is that often your best training is going to be done when you're not hitting sets to max effort, when you're not going to failure. So most of your training, most of your training is going to progress the best when you're hitting sets with reps in the tank, like I'm talking RP 7 8. So this mainly goes for the main lifts. I think there is, there is merit to pushing um, assistance movements closer to failure. But on the main lifts, squat, bench, and deadlift, you're often going to do better and you're going to make more progress in terms of your one rep max when you're working with sub-maximal weights where you're focusing on speed. Speed is one of the best things that translates to a one rep max. So if you just focus on lifting faster and putting more force into the bar, you're often going to get better results than if you go heavier but do slower reps. So a lot of times you'll wonder, like, I'm you know, lifting heavier than I have in the past with my volume. Um, and, you know, you're hitting these grinder sets, but you're, you're doing more weight. And then you go to max, and not only is your CNS, your nervous system, and your adrenals fatigued, and you can't lift as much, but you just, you just feel terrible. It just doesn't translate. That's because you're lifting too heavy. So this is a really counterintuitive point. Oftentimes, you need to hold back in training. You need to lift lighter but put more force into the bar, into the sets, and you're going to lift more in the end. Your one rep max will go up. So more is not always better. More is not always going to translate into a, one, into a higher one rep max. Lift sub-maximal weights for speed with room to spare, RP 7 to 8 range, and watch your training take off. You'll particularly see this pay off on deadlift and really on bench as well. I do think singles have a point with bench, but keep a lot of sub-maximal training in there for speed.